Hello guys, uh, my name is Collins from City Technologies and today I'll be teaching you how to create a simple SQL table on um, Oracle SQL Developer. Uh, we're going to be creating a uh, simple table. So, um, uh, we will be using students uh, for our table today and um, uh, we'll proceed uh, right away. So um, what we're going to type is uh, create student uh, sorry create table student open uh, was put the ID ID we can put it as um, uh, maybe put it as vata 2 and we can assign 10 there and name we can put name as character and we can put 20 and DOB which is date of birth we can put it as date and phone number we can put it as number and the address we can put it as batch out to can put address as 35 36 anyone and email we can put email as vata 2 and we can assign 20 there and what else do we put for students we can put cars for student and cars we can put it as character and we can put uh, 17 there so um, that's it now we have to assign a primary key for this table which is necessary and also not necessary and we have to begin by typing constraints the table name which is student underscore the column name that you want to assign as primary key which is ID underscore pk space primary key space open brackets id close close run you can run by holding down your control key and pressing enter or you can run by clicking this green button here so i'm, I'm used to holding the control key and clicking enter so you can see uh, table student created so now there is no data inside this table so we have to proceed with inserting data uh, which is normally called as populating data into the table but first of all let's try to see if we have anything inside the table so what you're going to do is you type select asterisk from student close so um, what this asterisk means is select all uh, if you want to select every single beta that is in this um, student table you just put asterisk but if you don't want to select uh, everything here if you just want to select one single column like the ID or name or DLB or you want to select one two three or just one two or one two three four you just put them here accordingly and you separate them with comma so but now I want to select the whole table I just put an asterisk and enter so you can see the table names are there already ID name the uh, column names ID name DLB phone address email curse so all of them are there but there is no data inside so we have to proceed by inserting data inside this table so what we're going to do now is we're going to type insert this code is for inserting data into student open and ID name DOB phone address email curse that's it down values 
now we have to insert the values what do we put as id st001 you can put whatever you want to put name we can put name as donald trump and we can put the dob as donald trump was born in third just make it up uh, June uh, 1965 so and um, the phone number you 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 can you may not you may you can decide not to put the single quotation uh, it doesn't matter on number so phone number should be one one two 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 to to three three four four so and uh, the address should be number two Trump Avenue New York and the email should be Trump at mail dot com and after that what course is Trump starting Ethical. Uh, okay let's put political science Close this. So, Trump is starting political science and close. So, let me bring it down 17 to 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. Okay, so now we can run our code and see if it's running. Good, it's running. One row inserted. So now we have to uh, insert five uh, different data into this student table. So we just have to copy this code and edit it. So uh, the student ID changed to 02 and the student name changed to Hillary Clinton and the date of birth changed to 4 January 1945 and the phone number changes so and um, the address will change to number 3 Hillary Clinton close Manhattan Hillary uh, what is Hillary starting public admin so uh, insert for Hillary Hillary inserted so guys, I'm going to speed this up and uh, I finish inserting the five data and I'll be back shortly. So guys, I finished inserting the data for the five students. You can see the code here. This is the student number one and this is student number two, student number three, student number four and student number five. You can identify them by their student ID. So it's the uh, same code, just uh, modify the data. And um, uh, most importantly, you need to modify the student ID because it's a primary key. If you didn't modify them, it cannot be duplicated. So you have you will run error if you didn't modify the, the uh, student ID. So now let's check to see what we have in the table. You have to do select asterisk from students
so now you can see the data that we have in students you can see the uh, data that we have in student our data is uh, complete uh, student 1, student 2, student 3, student 4 and student 5 their names, DOB their ID name, DOB, phone, address, email, and the class of study. So um, that's it. Uh, that's how to create a simple SQL table on Oracle SQL Developer. And another thing you can try is uh, if you want to select just a single column, uh, you can just type select. Maybe we want to select name and um, email from uh, these tables so you say select name email from this the table name which is student where you can do this way or you can just do this way and you just enter it will populate or you can as well say this is the first one we just did is going to print the whole um, data in the table the whole name and email in the table but if you want to specify which row that we want to select or which column that we want to select you can say uh, where, st where uh, name or ID where ID is then you put the ID name, maybe ST004. Then you close. So it's where ID is select name, email from student, where ID is ST004. so you just put equals to and it's going to print that uh, student name that student's name and email who has the id that is equal to st004 so it's going to print it and uh yeah that's how you select the data and you can as well update the data on this table you can update it at any time maybe um the uh student um uh, date of birth change or uh, okay email for example uh, maybe um, uh, who Najib uh, Razak's email changed uh, he changed this email to Najib so now we want to update that email and what you're going to do is uh, you type update student set email equals to now let's put it as Najib before it was Razak let's put it as Najib at at mail dot com so you have to put this then you have to specify the ID so the the system will know where to locate that email and change it so it wouldn't change everything on the table where uh, student ID equals to ST uh, Najib's e uh, ID is number 5 so ST005 so you close and uh, you run so one row inserted which means we have uh, updated this uh, Najib's email and now let's select and see if it's really updated select asterisk from student we are student ID equals to what is student ID for Najib? It's uh, ST005. 
0.005 so uh, we run select asterisk from student via student ID it's ID not student ID run and yeah the email is updated you can see it's now Najib instead of Razak so uh, that's uh, how you um, that's how you uh, create simple SQL table on uh, Oracle SQL Developer and uh, populate it as well. So this one is using Oracle SQL Developer. Uh, next time I'll show you how to use the command prompt to create a table. And uh, yeah, so uh, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If it's uh, very useful to you, you can give it a thumbs up. But if it's not useful to you, you can as well give it a thumbs down and um uh i appreciate for your time and uh i hope you do subscribe to our youtube channel so you can get an uh, a subsequent updates that is coming to your way and uh do share and comment and leave your suggestion let us know what you wa want to see next and uh we'll see you again soon thank you and uh 